Hey there, it's Toby, and before you get started on this episode, I wanted to tell you about our sponsor, Retro Pop Relics. Retro Pop Relics has been creating some of the coolest 3D printed giant video game cartridges. If you visit RetroPopRelics.com, you can see a bunch of the cartridges that are already available. You can get Super Smash Brothers, Paper Mario, Super Mario World, Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, and even Green. These are perfect decorations for your game room. So again, go check out RetroPopRelics.com. And if you use the promo code Genie at checkout, you'll get 10% off RetroPopRelics.com. Enjoy the show. BadSecretMedia.com We should say BadSecretMedia. Welcome to the Sick Lovers Podcast. On this week's episode, we go to the Retro Fucking Olympics. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2024 Summer Retro Olympics. This is our biannually multiple choice quiz game over retro video games we've got a lot of contestants here tonight uh, i am one of the hosts for tonight i am toby from the secret levels podcast i also have a co-host with me jenny bean will you introduce yourself i'm jenny bean from the nocturnal mysteries podcast we will be your host we will be telling you all the questions and uh you know trying to keep these animals uh from going way off the rails uh, speaking Wrangled. of <laughs> speaking of all these animals, let's hear from our contestants. Let's hear from Team Alone Ultra. Tell us who you are and what you're from. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Ultra from uh, this team, the Lone Ultra or whatever it's called. And uh, a lot of people don't know who I am, but uh, I run a YouTube channel called Ultra Flame 64. It's on YouTube.com. And uh, what, do I do, what I do on this channel is I mostly do reviews and whatnot. Mostly reviews, but mostly video games and sometimes uh, movies. Nice. Like I'm even, uh, I'm doing uh, another, yeah, I'm doing another movie review just, that's set to release this uh, October. You know, whatnot. I'm mostly a review channel. That's all I do. I'm active on Instagram. Follow me there. And subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel, whatnot. If you, if you like reviews and whatnot. <laughs> Next, we've got the team of Hennessy and Syrup. Yeah, how the fuck's it going, everyone? Is your boy Goobs and my Rob over there? Hennessy and Syrup. Yes. Put some stank on this here. shit. Put some stank on that bitch. Yeah, we, we've uh, come before. We're going to come all the way this time together. That sounded Hell wrong, but yeah. we're going to win. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, uh, I am putting out the positive vibes that we will. Hell yeah. What, uh, you got to say what shows y'all are from, guys. Come on now. Well, I'm on the secret fucking levels, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone uh, knows me. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who may not know me, I am from a, a whole bunch of places. Um, I have a solo podcast that's kind of on hiatus called The Random Rambles with Rob. But if you want to hear me ramble, about professional wrestling on two different continents. I host, well, I co host a podcast called Didn't Get All of It. And I have a spinoff called Didn't Get All of It Japan, where we talk about Japanese professional wrestling. So yeah. you can follow us on all of your favorite social media platforms under Fatal Four Pods. And that's F O U R Pods. There you go. Nice. See, that's how you promote goobs. Come on now. 
right. The next yeah, team. Go to single level. Go to badsticklemedia.com, motherfuckers. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> The next team is check out our backlog. Hey, all. Uh, I am Mikey Tabletop. Uh, check out our backlog. I, I don't know who's in charge of getting guests on for the show, but they picked two people who no longer do podcasts. We are both retired podcasts. So um, uh, you can go check out our backlog. I hosted two shows, the Big Drink Energy, where we talked energy drinks, um, because that's something we were into at the time. And I hosted Owen Two Heroes, a fighting game podcast uh, that my partner here tonight john he was on twice he has the record of being the guest with the most appearances on that show so i'm very excited that he invited me on to be his guest today i'm currently in argentina hello everyone (laughs) i'm john former host of the video game lounge podcast and um mikey tabletop everyone's favorite tabletop is my partner tonight we're ready to do this Our last team is the Grim Glow team. What's up, motherfucker? <laughs> Why isn't Lefko speaking? Is he, too, is he too cool to speak now? <laughs> I'm giving you the floor, good sir. The floor has always been mine. <laughs> well, yeah, Dude, sir. Yep, this it is, uh... belongs to all of us. We walk on it. <laughs> uh, I'm Grim from the Lost and Gone podcast. I cover unreleased media. And, uh, you know, all sorts of little oddities like that. And my friend, supposedly, <laughs> Lethko, want to talk about yourself? Well, um, I was born back in 1982. <laughs> too far uh, back, too far back. <laughs> oh, 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 my bad. I do a small podcast called Afterglow where I talk about my retro gaming memories. We have uh, many 15-minute episodes and now many one- to two-hour episodes. Ooh. I've been there for that. Oh, uh, another important fact about Lefko, he ha- he hates pickles. So, uh... Don't share it! <laughs> <laughs> These are all of our contestants. Um, we've already chosen the orders for all, all of our rounds that we're going to be having tonight. Uh, the first round, we are going to have... Alone Ultra Go, Hennessy and Syrup, check out our backlog, and then Grim oh, yeah. Glow. So that is the order. Now, we have four categories per round with multiple choice questions. You will hear the question and the answers before you give your answers, and uh, we will move into that if you guys are ready. Everyone ready? Let's get it going. Yes, move into it. Jenny Bean, do you want to tell us our first categories? Okay, so we have first... Any likeness is coincidental. Winners don't do drugs. And what do you stand for? All right. So to kick us off, Alone Ultra, you get to pick the first category and you get the first question in the category. You don't get to skip around. Uh, You just get the first question in that category. So what would you like? Mm, Which one one would I do? Hmm. I would try for uh, any likeness is coincidental. That's what I'll go for. A illusionist sued Pokemon for stealing his likeness for Kadabra. A. Harry Houdini. B. Yuri Geller. C. Pendulette. Or D. Piff the Magic Drop. Oh man, this is uh, this is an interesting one. I'm not that familiar with Pokemon, but I'll try my best. <laughs> hmm. The okay, which illusionist stole Pokemon? Sued Pokemon. I'm going to go for uh, maybe, uh, let's see. I'll go for uh, B, that's my guess. And that's your final answer. Yeah, I'll go with that one. That is correct. Holy shit, I got that right. All right. I know nothing, about, and I know nothing about Pokemon. So. Bend those spoons, <laughs> boy. <laughs> All right. Give this reference. Hennessy and Syrup, what are you wanting? Okay, Rob, what are we feeling, buddy? Mm, what do you stand for? All right. Okay, I'll go with you on this ride. Wasn't going to be my first pick, but 
Well, you can go with your first pick. I don't care. Well, I've already uncovered it. <laughs> oh, damn. No, no. We already got it. The popular Japanese home computer system, MSX, home to Metal Gear, is commonly accepted as an abbreviation for what? Is it A, Microsoft Extended, uh, B, Mitsubishi Software Experience, C, Main System Executable, or D, Mitsubishi Sony X? Son of a bitch. <sighs> that one's a rough one, guys. Yeah. And it's, it's weird because, like, I have... That excellent games play on this system. I, I think I have some of these games. MXS? MSS? MSX. What the hell? What does that stand for? Yeah, I can't read that, but, uh... What was the one there? Can you read that again for me, please? Uh, Microsoft Extended? B, uh, Mitsubishi. No, D. D is Mitsubishi Sony X. That'll be my best guess. Uh, I will. Up? I will not. Uh, let's see. Uh, I- I'll go with you on that. Okay, so you guys are okay, guessing we're, D. D. We're locked in. D locked in. Mitsubishi Sony X. Is that the correct answer? No. no. <laughs> the correct answer was Microsoft Extended. Ah. Yep. I, I've come across that acronym so much, but I never knew what it was. <laughs> well, now you do, though. Well, now you know. <laughs> Inside, I'm just screaming because I'm here. It was made by Microsoft. Come on. <laughs> Okay, uh, check out our backlog. Which which category do you guys want? Um, I'm feeling like first. Oh but, yeah, like yeah, where so, we're gonna uh, finish. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm <laughs> curious to, to 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 see what that category is. Okay, right, let's do it. First, it is which. FPS is credited with being the first in its genre to have regenerating health. A. Baseball 2000 B. Halo Combat Evolved C. Halo 2 or D. Hexen John, you got any ideas? I have at best a guess. (laughs) Okay, I... Okay, what is is your guess? Let's talk through this. I believe it's Halo Combat Evolved. Okay, I I was thinking it was Hexen. I just think Halo was too late of a game. There's no way Halo is the first one with regenerating health. I I, I don't know. You 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 think so? I'm like ninety eight point two percent sure it's Halo Combat. Evolved. Okay, honestly, I've never played any of these. I've never even heard of baseball. Um, the font is so tiny, I thought it said Spaceballs, and I was surprised that they had a video game of it. Um, so, cool. We, we, we can go, we can do Halo. B, locking in B, Halo. Okay. Is B, Halo Combat Evolved the correct answer? No. Oh, fuck. It is A, Faceball 2000. So, so with with me no longer having a podcast, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, what do I do with my time now? And I've decided to get big into A for analytics. So I went back and I listened. To this. I went back and I listened to all of the backlogs of all the retro Olympics. And John, get this: teams that get the first question wrong, where the correct answer is A, seventy-eight point two percent two percent chance of winning. <laughs> We're up to a good start. Nice. Night. That being said, go play some Faceball 2000. It's a really, really decent 16-bit shooter on the Super Nintendo. Doesn't get enough respect. Faceball was fun. Come on. Have a nice day. (laughs) All right. Grim Glow, you guys are up next. Which category do you want? You want to join the D.A.R.E. program? Winners don't use drugs. They fight them. (laughs) All right. So y'all want winners don't don't use drugs? I guess so. All right. If your realm is plagued by Skoma... Elder Scrolls, you don't even gotta finish. Let me (laughs) read the question, you fucker. This is how this works. You have to let me read it at least and build suspense. Pretend like Um, you don't know. I'm gonna say B, final answer. Oh, y'all sons of bitches. Let me read the question. (laughs) You 
They did it. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? You, the, <laughs> sons of bitches. Yes. Be Elder Scrolls, you ball suckers. All right. All right. We are back to the top. Uh, at home like to play as well. Uh, we got Alone Ultra. What category would you like? All right. Uh, I'm going to go with first because that seems, that seems like the kind of stuff I would, I would be more. I would have more knowledge about. All right. I, mean, I wasted my I wasted my middle school years watching digital gaming. <laughs> right. Which one of these games is largely considered to be the original real time strategy game? A Command and Conquer, B Warcraft Orcs and Humans, C Herzog's Y, or D Dune Two Battle for Arrakis. All right, this is an interesting one. I have never heard of C and D before. I've heard of the other two. A and B, I've heard of those. But for a real-time strategy, I'm not too familiar with that genre. So I'm going to go with a, a, a Command and Conquer. That's my best guess. All right. Let's see if that's the right answer. It is not. Oh, man. It is actually Dune to Battle for Arrakis. What did we say that was? Arrakis. I, have, Arrakis. I have never heard of that game in my life. Never. Me either. <laughs> Maybe right. you should have used the voice. Hennessy and syrup. Which category do you guys want? Um, last time you go this time. <laughs> let's try. Uh, you want to try Eddie like this is constant? Yeah. That Incidental? One. Yeah. Let's try that. Let's try that coincidentally. Which Super Nintendo game was sued by Pixar for being too similar to the short Red's Dream? Is it A, Harley's Humongous Adventure, B, Little Samson, C, Eek the Cat, or D, Uniracers? I got this, Rob. What's your guess? Whatever you say, since you got it. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to pray to the uni gods for a quick second here. I'm going to jump on my unicycle and hope I'm fucking right on this one. I'm going to go D Uniracers. Well, Goobs, you are correct. Yay! There we go. I put my faith in you, good sir. I mean, <laughs> I was not wrong. We covered this show on the show. So go check out that episode on uh, Single Levels Podcast. It's a great episode. That's right. Bow down to the Uni Gods. <laughs> Hopefully, the Uni God will give you more luck for the rest of this competition. Uh, hey, some people drive their unicycle without a seat, bud. <laughs> uh, check out our backlog. What what uh, category do you guys want? Thought. Let's see here. Um, I'm kind of feeling either like this is coincidental or what do you stand for? But I, I picked the last category. So so what what are you feeling? Uh, let's do what do you stand for? All right, let's get it. Cool. Okay, what did the Sega Dreamcast memory card VMU stand for? A, Virtual Memory Ultra. B, Visual Memory Unit. C, Virtual Mini Universe. Or D, Vertical Memory Unplugged. Hmm. I feel like it's got to be... Visual. I think it's B... Okay, I, I was thinking either B or C. I think B make I, I think B makes sense from like a technological standpoint, but yeah. it's Sega, it's like the late nineties, early two thousands. I could see them trying to be cool and going for a virtual universe as like a marketing ploy. Yeah. L- looking at the stats, when a team is stuck between <laughs> B and C <laughs> they have it's a close one because it's essentially a coin flip, but it's not 50-50 between B and C. It's actually 64 and 50, no, and, and 46 going with B. So I think you're right in this one. We should go with B, visual memory unit. Okay, locking it in, Toby. B. <laughs> you know, I want you to know that when I was, I love when, it. when we would get these questions, I would specifically think of your analytics and I was trying to switch stuff around <laughs> because I was like, nope, that makes sense. I think we've done too many C's or we've done too many A's. So I had you in mind, I swear to God, as as I put some of these in order and I would change, like people would send the questions in, in a specific order and I'd be like, nope, we've had too many C's. 
<laughs> Anyways, <laughs> the correct answer is B. Yes. The, the analytics are never wrong, baby. <laughs> yes. Let's go, Mikey. Call, call, call us the Moneyball of Video Game Trivia Podcasts. This is so dumb. Mm. <laughs> I love it. All right, Grim Glow, what category are you going with? What you thinking, Grim? Mm. Uh, oh. I'm not well. good with acronyms, so I would recommend not doing what do you stand for. Well, what do you say we dare to be different this time? We can do that. We can be different do the again. same thing we did last time. <laughs> and uh, Toby, I just want you to know, me and Goobs are trying to be heels this time. Oh, yeah? That's why we're being a little rowdy, a little mean with you. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So which category are y'all wanting? Winners, Winners don't, don't do drugs. drugs. Winners don't do drugs. Okay. Why am I a heel? You're always a heel. What are you talking about? In Grand Theft Auto 3, what is the name of the drug that Catalina and the Colombian cartel distribute throughout Liberty City? Is it A, Zydrate, B, Joy, C, Triptocaine, or D, Spank? Well, see, here's the issue. Of course, I do a retro gaming podcast, but I do skew a bit older. So by the time this game came out... um. I did not play it. Grim, did you play GTA 3? I did. Um, but this is more or less a question uh, that my lady would be able to answer because she loves this game. Uh, I didn't play it that much. I remember Catalina. She's a <laughs> two-time and jerk. Um, but if we're just going through the process of elimination, let's be honest, they would never call any drug joy. I think that would have drew a little bit too much controversy. I don't think it would have been Spank. That's just and a little too goofy. I don't think it would be Zydrate because it sounds too close to Hydrate, kind of like an energy drink. I'm leaning towards Tryptocaine. That's what I'm leaning towards, too. But, you know, let's just think for a second, okay? We got, let's say there was a Zydrate. You know, I imagine it'd be a little bit probably like uh, rushing water from Fallout New Vegas, you know? Got some, like, weird tubes hooked up to a water bottle that you drink fill it full of jet and all of a sudden you're uh punching at the speed of light yeah i thought it'd be like cred from south park well are we going with c then sure let's go with tryptocaine all right i guess we're locking that in all right is that the correct answer it is not it is d spank damn these rock star people yep I have I have a quick question about these drugs. Are they all from different video games, or did you make up some of those words? Um, Keaton, do you know who wrote this question? It was mine. Um, Zydrate is from Repo of the Genetic Opera. It comes in a little glass vial. Joy is from We Happy Few, and Tryptocaine is from Heavy Rain. Awesome, thank you. I was about to say, I, I knew there was a game with that had a drug called joined it but i didn't know what it was so i was curious if all of them were, were quote-unquote real drugs or not thank you well the they're category they're all, good job. Drugs. the category is winners don't use drugs we obviously didn't know the drugs so that makes us winners i say we get the point <laughs> <laughs> shut up <laughs> all right alone ultra you get to pick yeah. the last question for whatever category you pick yeah, all right. So I'm really determined between either uh, any any likeness is coincidental or first. And those are probably the only ones I'll really know about. And I felt that actually, you know what? Let's which one? I think I might go for any likeness because they have. I would have immediately gotten the last question. Yeah, <laughs> I know that from the back of my head. I know <laughs> it. All right. So you want any likeness is a coincidental? <laughs> sure. Why not? All right. Ooh. Super Mario was named after the landlord of Nintendo of America's first warehouse. What was this real-life Mario's last name? A. Segale B. Stan Stancato C. Spaghetti or D. Scapelli Oh man, I'm really... This is a hard question. I never <laughs> thought I'd... I've never heard of this question before. I think... Uh, I'm... Hmm... I'm leaning towards spaghetti because that sounds like an Italian last name. <laughs> or maybe Scapelli. Oh, 
you know, actually, you know, I think the Mario, the original Mario movie might have referenced it, you know, by having the other plumber company being called Scapelli, or I think that was called, was called that. I'm not too sure. But, oh man, this is such a hard question. Hmm. I'm, I'm going to go with uh, A. It's, it's A. Well, the I, answer. I, I knew this question when I was like eight years old. It is A. Sigal? Yes. Sigal? Is that how we're saying it? It's Sigali. It's Sigali. That's Sigali? It. Okay. I right. knew that que- I knew that when I was eight years old. <laughs> Even Sigali. Uh, Hennessy and syrup. Your question. So either first or drugs. You can pick Rob. Uh, let's be first. Unless you want to try stand for again. No! <laughs> yeah, let's stay the fuck away from that. You want first? You're... Yeah, sure, let's give her. Which game received the first individual 10 towards a review score in ma- the magazine Electronic Gaming Monthly? Was it A, Super Mario World, <laughs> B, Ninja Spirit, C, Samurai Showdown, or D, Metal Gear Solid? The world of Mario? Okay. Maybe? I was thinking. I was thinking uh, there had to be a 10 before Metal Gear Solid came out. Mm-hmm. Metal Gear Solid, they probably did give it a 10, but Ninja Spirit, I don't think, got the first 10. And Samurai Showdown is just a Neo Geo fighting game. So I don't think that got a perfect 10 as well. So it's either between D or A. My guts with A. What do you think, buddy? I am Eiffel Towering this answer with you with A. We're going A. All right. Is A the correct answer? No. I hope so. Ah! It's It is Ninja Spirit. It is B, Ninja Spirit. Fuck. (laughs) I don't even know what that is. (laughs) I don't either. Uh, Okay. I got damn 10 and nobody that played video games from the 80s all the way up until now (laughs) don't know what the fuck it is. That that was tricky, though, because Metal Gear Solid also got a perfect 10 because I have that magazine still from my childhood. (laughs) Check out our backlog. Which question do you want out of the last two categories? So, Mikey, what did the stats say when you're picking between two categories, (laughs) one of which you already guessed the correct answer? Okay, so the stats say if you... okay. So we got one of what do you stand for? If we got both of them, we should just clear clear that out. But this is like the Monty Hall problem where we should do winners don't use drugs because they have a better chance. We got lucky that one. Like if we had two in a row, we could have confirmed that category. But A for analytics is saying winners don't do drugs. Gotcha. All right, let's do it. Oh. The famous arcade slogan, winners don't do drugs, is credited to whom? A. William S. Sessions, director of the FBI. B. Ronald Reagan, president. C. Nancy Reagan, first lady. Or D. Bobo the sentient blue slime. Okay. I I think I know this. I, I, I forget the name of the game, but there's an arcade game where you play as... It's probably an FBI agent, and just, like, you have to, like... You're, like, a narcotics agent, and it opens up with a digitized screen of, like... Either winners don't use drugs or, like, thanks for not using drugs. And then if it says, like, if you're using drugs or you know someone, here's the FBI number, rat them out. Um, I which, feel like I remember this. So Yeah, yeah. Are you, like, I don't are know what going I, I just know this opening, which makes me think it's the FBI. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. I feel like I remember that, too. We're going to we're gonna lock in A, William Sessions from the FBI. Well, that answer is correct. Well, A, hell yeah. Game sessions. See, see, this is wild because I'm aware of this slogan because of the building that I work at. Put that together. It, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, if y'all didn't do drugs, y'all would be winning right now. So I think that's kind of telling on all you losers right now. Anyways, uh, Grim Glow, you get the last question in what do you stand for? Here it is, guys. Notice how I say I'm not good at acronyms, and this is what we're left with. <laughs> cool. In the franchise Fear, what does Fear stand for? Is it A, find oh. enemy and remove, B, first encounter assault recon, C, frontal engagement aggression response, D, fuck everyone almost returned? B, 
<laughs> it, let's, let's at least amuse that how great that fucking D is, dude. <laughs> Fuck everyone oh, almost retired. The D is amazing, but it's got to be B. <laughs> I mean, I'm standing on B, although... If I didn't care, uh, it, if this was like it fucking matters, it would be D right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you guys, everyone loves the D. So you guys are picking B for your answer. Yeah. All right. That is correct. First encounter assault recon. Great game too, by the way. Oh, fantastic game. All right, well, that is the end of the first round. Unalone Ultra has two points. Hennessy and Syrup have one point. Check out our backlog have two points, and Grim Glow have two points. So uh, we're going to take a quick break, and then we will come back and do round two. We'll be right back. Okay, the game is Shinobi. You're basic fist and stomach, foot and face, arcade hit. Nineteen stages of major ninja warfare. Observe. You've got your throwing stars, your bombs, your nunchucks. Nice shot. If you live through this round, you get ninja magic. Hey, you can be next. Hey, I can't see. Shinobi, just one of 70 games from Sega. Games and accessories sold separately. And coming this Christmas, two-player Double Dragon. Sega, major fun and games. Wait till they see Double Dragon. All right, we are back for the second round of the 2024 Summer Retro Olympics. Well, this round, our first team that goes is it goes in this order: uh, Alone Ultra again. Uh, check out our backlog. Grim Glow and Hennessy and Serp is last. So, Bean, will you tell us the categories? Uh, Flat Fuck Friday, Marketing Madness. Naming things is hard and the free point category. <laughs> Alone Ultra, you get to pick the first question of the categories. All right. Okay, well, first of all, I have no fucking clue what the hell Flat Fuck Friday will be. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely have there's nothing. Flat but, uh, I'm going to go with that. Uh, like that. What the hell am I supposed to expect with Flat Fuck Friday? But uh, I'm going to go with uh, Marketing Madness. What two games had scratch and sniff features on the disc? Was it A, Gran Turismo 2 and FIFA 2001? B, Bubsy 3D and Johnny Bazooka Tone? C, Odd World Abe's uh, Odyssey and Pepsi Man? Or D, Jersey Devil and Bio Freak? All right. Okay, first of all, I have never heard of this, the last one. I'm kind of leaning I'm kind of leaning towards C, Odd World and Pepsi Man, but I've never heard anything regarding the Pepsi Man. But for Bubsy and whatever the hell Johnny something is, um, that's, that, that kind of seems like something they would do. But I'm going to. But then Gran Turismo. Why would, no, why would Gran Turismo and FIFA have a scratch and sniff? Let's see. On the smell mm. of those tires burning out. Yeah. Unless it's like the smell of tires. You just want to smell some balls. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a marketing ploy to get your disc scratched up. That way you got to buy another copy. Yeah, you gotta scratch it like that damn Earthbound uh, issue of Nintendo Power. Yeah, or maybe you scratch it like those uh, like those tickets for Spy Kids, <laughs> or you scratch and sniff. So, but anyways, uh, I'll go. I'm gonna go for uh, Odd World and Pepsi Man. That's my best guess. Well, I regret to inform you that that is not the correct answer. The correct go. answer is A. Gran Turismo Two and FIFA Two Thousand One. What the we hell does some... this even smell like? I think is it, it is burning. Like tires? To, I do think it's I, I'm the one that wrote this question, but I don't recall exactly what it was. But I think it's yeah. it's tires and I think it's grass for the FIFA one. Rubbers so. and balls. Grass. Are you goddamn yeah, well, kidding me? Rubber. Like the smell of a new soccer ball when you buy it. <laughs> yeah, like something. Rubber and that balls. makes more sense than grass. I don't know. I Like I said, I don't remember. Next question. <laughs> All right. Like new car smells I'm just, sweat. <laughs> but I'm off to a great start with this round. Uh, check out our backlog. Oh, yo. Okay. Flatfuck Friday. I'm assuming it has to do with alligators or crocodiles in video games, which I, I think that could be a funny category. Um, 
I'm a little afraid the free point category will be alarmingly hard or incredibly easy and we're going to regret not picking it. Yeah. I think statistics say because it is the free point category, we should just go ahead and go over there and collect our free point. Uh, you know what? You're right. A for analytics, it does say that. We're going to, yeah. Now, okay, I'm going to, I did this last time we were on and it was beneficial. We're going to do free point category, but instead of doing the first free point category, can we do the second free point category question? No, we're going to say in order this time. <laughs> no! We, we're not going to throw everything off and make someone okay. upset. So, okay. Do you still want it because so you're getting the first question? Say, yes, we, we, we will say when the host says point. no, it means yes. <laughs> Here you go. In Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, Scorpion turns into what for his animality? A, Scorpion, B, Dragon, C, Swordfish, or D, Penguin? <laughs> steal! Steal! Oh. John, do you have any guesses? You're the fighting game king. Yep, I... <laughs> I, I, I I'm, I'm leaning towards Scorpion, and if this bites me in the ass, I'm going to be so embarrassed, I'm going to start another podcast just to immediately retire again. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, we're going to go ahead. John, you, you go with Scorpion? Ooh. Um... Fuck it. Let's do it. Scorpion. Right, we're, yeah, we're going to lock in A. Well, that is the incorrect answer. It is D, Penguin. Damn it. That is the funniest fucking thing I've ever read. <laughs> yeah, as, someone, reason, uh, as someone who played this reason. game in the arcade, I can tell you that made no sense back then either. <laughs> oh, my God. Because for some reason, Shiva turned into a scorpion in the original MK3, yeah. which is weird. I mean, Scorpion wasn't even in that game. That's right. All right. But at, least, but at least one of Scorpion's fatalities in MK4 was him turning into a scorpion. So yeah, that's something. <laughs> uh, Grimglow. What do we want to do? Mm. Um, you know what? Let's... Uh... Let's be the trailblazers here, because that's what we do. Uh, naming things is hard. What do you think, Lefko? Do it. What game in some PAL regions had to be changed to lie at wars to avoid confusion with something else? Was it A, Doom, B, Star Fox 64, C, Metroid, or D, Contra? Grim, you know this one, right? Uh, let's talk about the Contra controversy. Uh in uh you know that latin american country it's where the u.s was funneling uh <laughs> or the fact that it had a different name over in europe but i'm not going to give that name because that could be a future question and it's not going to bite me in the ass <laughs> <laughs> smart yes. man smart man i would say b absolutely as in, boy, as in ball all right well guys you got the question correct it is a B, Star Fox 64. All right. Hennessy and Syrup. I haven't done any good picking categories. You go for it, Rob. Flat Fuck Friday. You, you fucking, fucking losers. losers. <laughs> Which level in Banjo Kazooie allows Banjo to transform into a crocodile? Oh, I want that idea. A. Rusty Bucket Bay, B Bubble Gloop Swamp, C Pterodactyl Land, or D Gloomy Galleon. <laughs> I don't play the game. <laughs> I'm gonna say B because get out of my swamp. Could be the Gloomy Galleon. Could be A could be A B C R D, but we got to pick one. It could be all of them. I'm sorry for the people that fucking love this game, because... Yeah. I'm sorry we kazooied your banjo. Uh, Is Swamp yeah. too real? Yeah. I say Swamp. Okay. Okay, fuck it. We're going with Swamp. You guys picked B, Bubble Gloop Swamp. And that is the correct answer! Hey! Good guess. <laughs> yes, 
It only Yo, makes sense Zeke, because I am from Louisiana. Louisiana shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Oh, some gumbo over that banjo, bitch. Uh, Alone Ultra, which one do you want? All right, all right. So now that I know all these questions now, I'm I'm gonna go with uh, naming things. So that's something I I sound, I might be familiar with. Naming things is hard. Second question right. and naming things is hard is what fighting Ooh. game originally went under the name Rave War? Was it A Mortal Kombat, B Killer Instinct, C Tekken, or D Dead or Alive? I think I may have heard this somewhere, but I don't. I honestly don't remember. I'm thinking Tekken because Rave War just sounds like something that would be used for Tekken. But, but then again, I gotta think. I gotta think about this. Rave War. I don't think Killer Instinct was called Rave War. I know it was going to be a boxing game, but I don't think so. Dead or Alive, I'm not too sure about that. And Mortal Kombat, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a Jean-Claude Van Damme game. But I'm going to go with uh, Tekken. See you. All right. Let's see if you got it correct. And guess what? You did. It's Tekken. Yes, I knew I heard that somewhere. <laughs> I heard it somewhere. Might have been I, literally own, I literally own every Tekken game, and I had no idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that was a good one. I, I just guessed. All right. Uh, team, check out our backlog. Which one do you want? Um, all right, John, I think I picked the last one. You can pick this one. Well, no, I picked free point category. So... Okay. Um, I think statistics say when I pick the category and we're wrong, um, 100% of the time after that, you pick the next category. <laughs> okay, I, I... I don't like three-point category. Uh, it, I, I feel like a scorn lover. I feel betrayed. So I'm thinking Flat Fuck Friday. Let's do it. What is the name of the alligator-inspired Maverick in Mega Man X2? A. Gator Man, B. Slash Crocodile, C. Wheel Gator, or D. Crocodoom? I have... John, you, you ever no play a Mega idea. Man game? Um, Are these questions Crocodile-inspired? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back when I was, like, five... Um... Jesus, I can't remember. Okay. I I know have... I, I know original Mega Man, the bad guys were all something man. But this is a Maverick in X2? I don't know what that means. So a bad guy. The Mavericks are the bad guys. Yeah, but I don't know if they end oh, in no, man. No. I feel like Slash Crocodile. I feel like Slash sounds like sounds like a Mega Man nonsense, but I'm going to go ahead and let... You can veto that if you want. You said what? Uh, I said B slash crocodile. We have another controversy involving B and C. Yeah. I'm, okay, you're thinking I'm, wheel gator? I'm thinking wheel gator. It just... It's the one on the list that just seems the most random. And Maverick makes me think of planes... Planes have wheels. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're right. That, that's what planes are most famously known for, having wheels. <laughs> okay, cool. We, we, can total, we can totally go see Wheel Gator. Okay. And the answer is indeed C, Wheel Gator. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Grim Glow, what category would you fellas like? You pick this time, let's go. Man, I still got the music ringing from a Will Gator stage from X2 in my ears. That is a banging soundtrack in that game. Uh, you want to go for the free point? Okay, all right, I guess if you want to. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, come on. Let's see what misdirection they give us. <laughs> Who is killing your neighbors in Zombies Ate My Neighbors? Is it A, Zombies, B, Ghost, C, Leprechauns, or D, Mimes? Well, you know, I said misdirection, but um, apparently I was wrong with this one because uh, it should be indeed A. But before I lock that in, Grim, do you have any other thoughts? 
Man, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like this is like some psychological <laughs> torture that they're inflicting <laughs> on us because that first question, okay, about oh. Scorpion... And then, of course, the answer was penguin. But I'm pretty sure <laughs> zombies ate my neighbors. It's my. It's not mimes or leprechauns or ghosts. I don't recall killing any of them. I was saying I don't <sighs> remember mimes being in the game. Uh, I don't know if they're leprechauns or not. But in the supermarket level, they had those little dudes with the hatchets going after people. Um, I don't specifically remember many ghosts in the game. I mostly remember zombies. So I gotta go A. I guess let's lock in A. We're doing A. Are y'all sure? With yeah. confidence. Now, I want you to remember that there's a story involved in, in this. Was there some kind of twist ending with the scientist? I never beat the game, so mm. um, if there is, I'm in trouble. But oh. I can still argue that they look like zombies on the screen, so I'm going to go with A. All right. Well, <laughs> guys. All this damn leading. The answer is it is actually a zombie. So you I it. knew it. <laughs> you, this is like psychological waterboarding with all these little answers just dripping in your mind. I what? told you it would be a misdirection game. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're right. All right. Uh, Hennessy and syrup. You guys are up again. Yeah, we got lucky last time with Flat Puff Friday. You want to go I'm there again? Naming things. You want to go there again, or you want to try a free point category? Let's go for a free. All right, y'all are doing free category? Yeah, yeah. Free point? Yeah. To end up the free point questions. Who do you play as in Wario's Woods for the Super Nintendo? A, Wario, B, Mar, C, Princess Toadstool, or D, Toad? And we say Wario. Fuck, we played this. We haven't played it for the show yet. I thought we did. No, I think we just played it for fun one time. Wario? Hmm. Could be Mario. But it's Wario, right? The first it's one was a movie. fucking penguin. Wario. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you keep saying let's go for I it. I don't know. I don't know. Who are you? No, you're doing it. We're going for it. Okay. <laughs> the correct answer is D, Toad. You did not get it right. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, Alone Ultra, you're back at it. Yes. All right. All right. Free categories off the map, though. Thing? Went for naming things because that's like the only one I would get. I would have gotten the last one because I'm like the Wario's Woods expert. I played that game for like probably ten hours total. Not in a not in like not during a single play it through just you know, whatever. <laughs> let's, let's go naming things. Naming things. Okay, so which of these franchises have not had zero in a title of one of their games? Is it A, right. Final Fantasy, B, Ace Combat, C, Resident Evil, or D, Contra? All right, so first of all, I know Resident Evil had a game called Resident Evil Zero, which was a prequel. Ace Combat, I have never heard of that in my life, but it, it, it kind of sounds like the game, the Ace Combat series would have a game called Zero. That seems like something it would have, just going, sound, just going off of its name and what I'm assuming. In Contra, wasn't there a game called Contra Zero? I'm not too sure. There was a game called Contra Force. But Final Fantasy, ooh, that's, a, that's, a, that's an interesting one. I'm not too familiar with the Final Fantasy games, but I do know of the titles. But, hmm. It's, a very, it's kind of tricky, you know? But I swear, there may have been a game called Contra Zero. There may have been. I'm not too sure. Oh, wait, it's... Hold on. Is there a... No, no, no. That was Contra Re- I'm thinking of Contra Rebirth. I wouldn't go with uh, Final Fantasy. Because I don't think there's a game called Final Fantasy Zero. You're going you with know, unless A? Yeah, I'm going with Yeah, I'm going with A. A unless Final it's like some Kingdom unless it's like some Kingdom Hearts X bullshit. <laughs> well, let's see if it's A <laughs> Final Fantasy. Is it you're locking in, right? Yeah, we're locking with Final Fantasy. Alright. Is it A Final Fantasy? 
No, it is D Contra. Damn. All right. The controversy. <laughs> uh, check oh. out our backlogs. Uh, you got one of the last two categories to pick from. Flat Fuck Friday or Marketing Madness? John, are you feeling confident with Flat Fuck Friday or do you want to try Marketing Madness because we haven't done that one yet? Uh, let's try Marketing Madness. Okay. Which adventure game does Cobb and the Scum Bar advertise in the first Monkey Island game? A. Loom B. Anna Jones and the Atlantis Crystal uh, C. Monkey Island 2. Revenge of Monkey Island or D. King's Quest Whatever number that is. Four. Four. There we go. John, do you do you know? I, I think I have an idea, but I, w- I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, my thoughts or whatever your idea is. <laughs> okay. So, Mon- Monkey Island, I could be wrong, but I believe is a Lucas game. Game. Which makes me think... Because it's George Lucas, it would advertise another Lucas game, Indiana Jones. Sense or nonsense? Oh no! I seems like I've maybe lost my partner. This is <laughs> <laughs> I, so, some stats here for you. This is now two two times in a row, and on on Retro Olympics that my partner has. has uh, I've lost my partner. We are having some crazy internet problems uh, with everyone right now for some reason. Hey, John, if you're talking, we can't hear you. Uh, you'll have to drop out and come back in. What do your analytics say for the the answer choices? Like, if you were just basing it off your analytics. Okay, if I was basing it solely off the analytics... Okay. Now that we're so far into the game, the analytics are kind of all over the place. Because <laughs> this is now the final round, like the final question of round two for the team that was picked second this round, but third the first round. So... When that happens, we should have doubled down on Flat Fuck Friday. There was a 17% chance A, B, and C were all wrong, and then D would have been the correct answer for Flat Fuck Friday. I guess I'm giving the answer away to whoever picks that one next. Use A for analytics, but um, yeah. So the analytics for the question we actually took, I have no analytics for this one. We, did, we picked the wrong one for the numbers. <laughs> so uh, I know your partner's not here. Uh, do you want to make the executive decision by yeah, yourself I'll, I'll, yeah i'm gonna go ahead and, and pull the trigger on that and i will take the you know what, i'm gonna blame it on john anyways if, if, if i get it wrong i'm gonna go ahead and lock in b indiana jones b you're going with b you you know if you get it wrong he's gonna blame you I, it, it's entirely his fault for not talking me out of it <laughs> the answer is a oh. loom damn it and i knew it <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to say that Loom is also a LucasArts game. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, Grim Glow. What are you guys picking? Marketing Madness or Flat Fuck Friday? I was hoping for the free point category again, but... <laughs> mm, so, what'd you think, Dan, Mr. Lethal Let Go? Uh, how much do you know about marketing and gaming? I know you got a pretty good back history with a lot of the backstories of games. Are you familiar with marketing? Uh, I can't say it's one of my biggest strong suits, but uh, I also don't know too much about crocodiles and video games. I can't say I've ever made it a point to... uh... Well, if we play the odds here, there has not been a Donkey Kong Country question in Flat Fuck Friday yet. And I have a feeling that there has to be one if they're talking about gators. All right, man, if you want to take the risk, let's do it. I mean, how much do you know about Donkey Kong Country? Uh, Not too awful much, man. Oh, God. Okay, marketing madness. Well, I mean, do you remember, uh, check out our backlog, did say that the analytics said that D was going to be the answer. That was their bold prediction. They made Uh, their choice. (laughs) (laughs) All right, y'all going with marketing madness? Yep. Okay. What game did Doritos yes. release for the for free on the Xbox 360? Is it A, Doritos Bump and Grind, B, Doritos Dust Up, C, Cool Dude Ranch Simulator, or D, Doritos Crash Course? 
Can we do a quick afterglow snippet real quick? My kids grew up playing the hell out of this game because it was one of the few free games you could get on an Xbox. So I got them an Xbox with the Kinect, which that's a story for another time. But they spent so many hours playing Doritos Crash Course. So I'm going to say D. Thank Grim? God you knew this because I had no fucking idea, dude. Like the the best I ever got with any of like food related games or stuff back then was like uh, the, you know, the Burger King games, the, you know, the Burger King pocket bike rider thing and stuff like that. So I have no idea what Sneak this King. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking, yeah. The the game actually wasn't too bad either because it was like uh like American Ninja sort of deal. It was kind of fun for what it was, especially for being a free game. But yeah, D walking in. All right, that is the correct answer. Doritos Crash Course. All right. Well, uh Hennessy and syrup. Guys, you get the last flat fuck Friday question. Who is the villainous alligator mystic for the Fiendish Five in the Sly Cooper series? A. Ms. Ruby. B. Sir Chomps. C. Leatherneck. D. Miss Cleopatra. I don't know why, but Leatherneck is speaking out to me. Wait. Leatherneck's from fucking Ninja Turtles. Huh. So, uh... I, I have no clue, sir. Miss Cleopatra. It sounds warm and comforting when you say it that way. It could also be like Louisiana kind of thing, like fortune teller. Mm-hmm. Or it could just be like Miss Cleo to throw us off. Ruby as well. Uh... I'd like to reiterate that A for Analytics uh, say that there's a 43% chance it's D, Miss Cleopatra. All of the other ones are only 19%. Just uh, do with that as you will. And I would like to bring up that this is also not a uh, Donkey Kong question, so uh, (laughs) so much for my ability to guess. (laughs) Now with with Miss Cleo. Okay. I think someone's trying to trick us. So do you want to change your answer? I just want to say, call me now. (laughs) So you're going with it. Miss Cleopatra D. Fuck it. Yeah. All right. The answer is. A Ms. Ruby. Ah. Yep. I don't like this. All right. Well, that's the end of round two. Uh, So I'm not going to give you the total scores, but Alone Ultra scored one point this round. Check out our backlog scored one point. Grim Glow scored three points for this round. And Hennessy and Syrup only got one point. So. So the two other teams. You made it sound worse. (laughs) 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 Shh. Anyways, we're going to take another quick break, but when we come back, we're going to have something brand spanking new introduced to the Retro Olympics. So strap in and hold on to your butts, guys, because we will be right back. Are you ready to run Daytona? Vanquish a virtual fighter. Dispense some justice in Virtua Cop? Then it's time for some fist-in-your-face reality as all three rip into the R zone. Blast your way through Virtua Cop. Uh, here come the bad guy. Tear up the tar at Daytona. Checkpoint, checkpoint. And prepare to meet your virtual master. It's Giraffe. Ah! All R Zone cartridges play on the R Zone and the R Zone Super Screen. Are you ready? Guys, we are back, and we have a brand spanking new round that we're going to try out for the first time. This is going to be called Taking You to Soundtown. This round, you will pick one of these video game console systems. Nintendo, the original NES, the Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis, or Mega Drive, if that's how you want to live your life. Nintendo 64, Nintendo GameCube, or PlayStation. 
there will be an audio clip that plays. It's about uh, 10, 15 seconds. I can't remember how long they are. They're not very long. And there are five sound effects. There's a song and four sound effects. If you can name each of these. So you may want to take some notes. If you can, you got to listen very carefully. You get to hear the song, or you get to hear the audio twice. So we'll play it once, and y'all can write down a couple, and then you can hear it again. But there's only five. One of these actually has a bonus question because it may or may not have been a mistake. So, I don't like this. <laughs> so, um, rules wise, am I allowed to pull up notepads on my computer? You can pull up a notepad uh, and write down something. You know, if you need to write something down, you're only going to get to hear it twice, though. Each, each correct sound that you can name, you get a point for. So, check out our backlog is first for this round, for this very experimental round. <laughs> so, I'm first on this one. Uh, and then uh, uh, it's a lone ultra, uh, grim glow, and then Hennessy and Serp is last. At first. No, remember, this is the one that I was saying off mic when I was like, y'all are going to be glad that y'all went last so y'all can see how it's played. Exactly. Y'all have the most time to figure it out. So, check out our backlog. Which video game console would you like to hear the sound from? Uh, so, I'm, I'm looking at the A for analytics for this, and it shows that whatever team goes first in a new category is traditionally fucked. So, um... <laughs> John, do any of these categories uh, stand out to you? My console that I would feel most comfortable with would be PlayStation. Okay. Um, So either PlayStation 64 would be a second, but I'd I'd lean PlayStation. All right, cool. Uh, We can can totally do PlayStation. Okay. Let's try that one. Like I said, there's a total of five sound effects. So one song, four sound effects you have to name what they all go to here is the playstation sound effect okay now before y'all say anything you only get to to make five guesses. You can't keep guessing and stuff. So, you mm-hmm. only get five guesses. Are y'all ready for... Do y'all want to hear it again? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Here it goes. For the second time, the PlayStation sound effects. What have I got? Okay, guys. What games do you think those were from um all right i know a couple of them um okay. I, 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 I might know a couple too you tell me what you got i heard the metal gear alert mm-hmm. yep that's uh, one final, Fa- final fantasy victory music yep that's um, another one which final I- fantasy Oh God! Do we have to guess the actual Final Fantasy? Uh, let's let's just... go to the judges, uh, Keaton and uh, Martin. What do you what do you think on that? They have to uh, game specific. That's uh, a tricky one. Uh, not necessarily, although some of maybe hey. yes. I'm afraid just because some of them oh. are quite game specific. Uh, okay, but for which PlayStation console? Because that would depend on. What... These are all PlayStation One. So PlayStation I, I'm one. thinking Final so Fantasy seven, seven, eight, or nine. I I would guess that too because seven, eight, okay. nine yeah. were on PlayStation One. I was so say, we'll go Victory Final Music. Fantasy game I played, and I, I recognize that one. That's actually correct. Okay. Yeah, then yes. that's why oh, yeah. eight was afraid of seven. Well, that was just uh, me trying to be a heel anyway. So. <laughs> um, the. I... Yeah. The other sound that I recognized was Aku Aku from Crash Bandicoot. Um, Crash yep. Bandicoot. Um, I didn't get the fourth sound effect, and I know that song. I can't place the game, though, so I'm hoping you can fill in the gap. I did not know the sound effect either. It, w- it, w- it sounded like it was a moo. Are there any—I'm yeah. thinking like a farm game, or are there any alien games where they suck up cows? 
Can you think of anything just as, as a guess answer? Oh, God. Did Twister have a game? <laughs> like the movie Twister? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Dog shaking his head. Can I pet that dog? <laughs> yeah. That's correct, Goobs. I'm going to go... I'm going to go... I, I don't have anything for the moo, so I think we should just come up with something just... The Cow Chronicles. We'll see if that's a game. Sure. Um, and then I, I think I, I recognize the song. Do, do you have any guesses on that? I don't. I don't. So whatever you got. Um, let's I'm go going to go ahead and say Tekken 3. Well, Tekken 3 is correct. So you oh, guys. Fuck. Yeah, Mikey. You guys got four out of five on that one. Uh, should I'm going to play it one more time just so y'all can hear it one more time. Uh, it is the Tekken 3 music. The Resident Evil Zombie, Metal Gear Solid oh. Alert, Crash Bandicoot when you get the mask, Final Fantasy 7 when you level up. So here's all it is again for anyone that wanted to put it all together. Dude, that's so good. Thank you I so much. I literally would have gotten all awesome. of those. Yep, that was a yeah. that's, that was a good first uh, first at bat. All right, Alone Ultra. Which console are you going with? Uh, right. PlayStation is gone. You cannot pick PlayStation. Oh, really? Right. Yep. Oh, this sucks. Mm. I'm debating either Genesis or any or N64. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with N64 because 64 is in my name. So mm. yeah, I'll go with that. All right. So, all right. We're going to play the first one. And then whenever you're ready, we'll play all it right. again. And then you can start guessing. Starting now. All right, here we I think I'm going to guess that the background music might be from Zelda Ocarina of Time. That's my guess on the music. Okay. So for the a laugh, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's Grunt, Gruntilda's laugh from Banjo-Kazooie. And I heard the bullets, which I, I believe that's from Goldeneye, if I'm not mistaken. But can I hear the other ones? Do you want to hear it one more time? Yeah. Okay. So I heard a car and I heard a cat. But that's that. Those ones are tricky. Very tricky. Hmm, what what game had a cat in it? That's what I'm trying to think. Now there's ton, now there's tons of now there are a lot of racing games on the N64. My best guess is uh, what was that game? Cruisin' Blast? The Cruisin'? I would have guessed Cruisin' in '64 for the car sound effect. But I can't. I honestly can't think of most other racing games with that sound effect. But the cat. Oh man, the cat is tr very, very tricky. Because <laughs> I have never heard a game with with that specific cat. No N sixty four game with a specific cat. You want to take a wild guess at anything? No, I can't think of anything for the cat. Okay, so so those Literally are your nothing. your guesses right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are ones. All right. So do you? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. You got three of the five right. Uh, so yeah. you got Zelda, uh, uh, Ocarina of Time. You got Goldeneye. The car was Mario Kart 64, and the cat Aww. that you thought was Diddy Kong uh, when he gets hit on Diddy Kong Racing, and Banjo Kazooie. Oh, the cat. Yeah, so here, let's list it one more time so you can, everyone can hear it. <laughs> All right. 
Well, not bad. Yeah, not bad. You got three, three of five. Uh, yeah, that's so good. Uh, Grim Glow. Which console are you guys picking? All right, Grim. Here's what I'm thinking here. In order of what's left, the NES is probably going to be my strongest category, followed by Super Nintendo, followed by Genesis, and I want to stay as far away from GameCube as humanly possible because I have no history with it. What are your thoughts? It's the complete opposite for me. Um, Oh, God. (laughs) For me, uh, probably Super Nintendo and Nintendo GameCube are probably my closest, dude. So it sounds like fact, for I have us... two I have two game cubes near me right now within grabbing distance. So it sounds like the middle ground's gonna be Super Dang. Nintendo. Whatever one you fuck, man, this is tough. <laughs> this is tough. Yeah, like I said, I have no experience with GameCube, like whatsoever. I know well, it's whose fault square is that? with with a handle. You I'm sorry, I went with an Xbox, the awesome superior system. <laughs> Nah, the GameCube was dope, dude. Xbox said Halo. Hmm. Uh, I want NES so bad, but I don't want to pick it if you're weak on it. I, I'm leaning towards Sipper now because we both at least have experience with it. Yeah, I, I would think probably the Super Nintendo would probably be our best bet then. All right. Y'all are picking Super Nintendo, correct? Hesitantly. Here we go. Fuck you both. All right. Listen carefully. Do you want to start guessing or do you want to uh, hear it again? You get five guesses only. I've got three of them locked in already. Uh, I'm ready for a second listen before I rattle any off, though. Grim? I agree. I'd like to hear it again one more time. I think I know most of them. All right, here we go. I've got all five. We're good. All right. Let's hear them. All right. Graham, you want to go ahead with what you got? And then if uh, there's anything missing, I'll fill it in. You only get five. Okay, yeah, Graham, go. say the ones that you're 100% sure on. I'm 100% on, like, all of them. You know what? You go ahead and do it. I'm afraid I'm going to say the wrong thing. All right. Uh, for the music, we've got Super Castlevania Four. Okay. The blaster noise would be Star Fox. Okay. Uh, the Uret Uret would be Street Fighter 2. Um, there is a Yoshi sound in there, the which of course would come from Super Mario World. And then I hear the uh, background noise of one of the racers in F Zero. Oh. Two of those I don't think I knew. The other ones I did. I just I- was too afraid. I'm like 95% in all four of them. All right. Well, guys, you got five for five. Boom. Good job. Good ears. I still want to do this. Rob, get the GameCube. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, last but not least, uh, in the sea and surf, which console are what you? What are you most comfortable with? Oops. I am going to. Thank you for allowing me to be on your show uh, this many times uh, as your partner. It's been an honor and a privilege. And I'm also going to apologize in advance because I suck at this shit. (laughs) (laughs) So I do not feel bad if this comes around for the winter or the summer or the spring. I'll have often y'all going to do this and you don't pick me again. I do have a new partner for next year, but <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Good. I, we knew this was coming. I understand. <laughs> no, I love I love my partner. But it's ride or die, buddy. What what do you feel most comfortable with? I don't give a fuck. We're already losing. Let's yeah. fucking go down in flames. I started drinking, so fuck it. Damn it! I was trying to end this so I can go drink. <laughs> um. Uh. Let's see. You want to get crazy and do some Super Nintendo? Oh, no, I mean, not Super Nintendo. Yeah, we can do some Nintendo. 
Fuck it. Let's do the Nintendo. Well, guys, I get, it. I get to inform you. This is the special one that has the bonus. So you get six guesses on this one because there's an <laughs> I'm extra, special. extra sound effect. <laughs> Damn it. This is what I wanted. Yes. Okay. Special. Are y'all ready to listen? Okay, let's listen up closely. Everyone shut up. Okay. Do you want to start guessing or you want to hear a second second listen? I got one for sure. <laughs> I got four or five. You got four or five? Right. You want to hear it again just to make sure? So I can give you my one. Yeah. So you can get the four. <laughs> All right. Here we go, guys. Playing it again. Okay. Okay. Remember, well, you, we just guess, to go off, Rob? you get six guesses total. Yeah. Uh... What's I got? You want, want, want you want my marvelous one? two? Okay. okay. What what's your one? The cunt. Yeah, there you go. The dog. So the music from Mario Brothers two. Uh, pretty sure I heard Metroid. I think I heard Zelda, Mega Man, and Kirby. Okay, say say your say it again. The music was from Mario Brothers two. Yeah. I think I heard some Metroid in there. I might have heard some Zelda. I'm not too sure. Definitely Mega Man. And then uh, Berg, or not Berg. Same Berg. So my partner, hopefully, next time. Rob said uh, Duck Hunt, which he was correct. And then uh, Kirby. Okay. Is, is this where I get to be a dick and say which Mega Man game? No, I don't know. If All that... the fucking blasts are selling the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Now shut up. Okay. Well, you got. <laughs> Four of the six. It is Mario Bros. Two, Contra Spreadshot, Castlevania. Oh, that's I thought it was Metroid. Yeah, Castlevania. When you get hurt, uh, Mega Man, Duck Hunt, and Kirby. So let's hear it all together one last time. That's right, Spreadshot. <laughs> All that right. one after spread shot though kind of sounds like when Zelda like dies like oh yeah I when I heard the spread shot I was thinking uh, like the uh, the slicing motion from uh, Ninja Turtles mm-hmm. yeah that's good too well hey we got four points though whatever got, got I'll take four it points, yeah. All right, so just to go over the points real quick, uh, check out our backlog. Got four points this round. Alone Ultra got three. Grim Glow got five. And His- Hennessy and Syrup got four. So uh, thank you, Martin, for giving us such a new uh, addition to the Retro Olympics. So that's that's really fun. We will have to do this more in the future. Also, fuck you, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Martin. That was really that was cool. fun. I did a lot better than we thought. I'm yeah, glad you enjoyed it. yeah, that was a cool idea. I liked it. Uh, yeah, we tried to make sure since this is an audio podcast that it made sense that everything was audio and not visual. <laughs> Anyways, uh, all right, we are going to take another quick break, and then we will be back for our last and final round. Round four. We'll be right back. Have you experienced the awesome power of the Panasonic Real 3DO system? Obviously. The intense realism of Panasonic Real 3DO. Apparently. Or the mind-blowing graphics of Panasonic Real 3DO. Wow. Definitely. Cool. The Real 3DO system from Panasonic. Yeah. Welcome back to the final round of the 2024 Summer Retro Olympics. Guys, this has been a very fun and very heated competition so far. So... Let's figure out what the categories are. Bean, 
So we have pick a card, any card. They have been paid to be naked. That shouldn't be there. And like it fucking matters. Let's go. <laughs> so in this round, uh, a lone ultra will be going first. Uh, check out our backlog. A second, Hennessy and Syrup goes third, and Grim Glow goes fourth. So, alone ultra, what are you picking? All right, I, I have no again, like so similar to the pre to one of the previous rounds. I mean, the second round, I have no idea what to expect here, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, that. Shouldn't be there. All right, much like me. <laughs> Uh, in the Kirby Superstar mini game, the Great Cave Offensive Treasure Hunt, which is not an item you collect. A. Koopa Shell, B. DK Barrel, C. Pokeball, or D. Triforce. Hmm. So is this pretty original? Yes. Uh, Super Nintendo. Okay. All right. Okay, so Koopa Shell, Triforce were already existent. Same with the DK Barrel. Now, Donkey Kong Country wasn't really that well represented in games that were actually made by Nintendo. Like, actual Nintendo. Um, but then the Pokeball. Well, Pokemon wasn't really, it wasn't even out yet. Or maybe it was out by the time Kirby Superstar came out. I mean, I'm going to go with the Pokeball. Wait, wait, which is an item you cannot collect? Treasure Hunt? I'm pretty sure it's Pokemon cause, Pokeball, because I, I don't think there were any Pokeballs in the game. So you, I have that or DK barrel. So which one do you want? Hmm, let's see. Which you, can you can I'm gonna go with the uh, Pokeball. You're saying C Pokeball? That is correct. Yeah, I knew it. Because Pokeball wasn't even out yet. That's right. There would have been no way they, they would have put the game a Pokeball in for a game that was still in development. All right, uh, team, check out our backlog. Is, is it just so analytics there? say that there those you. who are comfortable in their own skin do better in this? So I'm already naked. You don't have to pay me. Let's go get <laughs> naked. All right, I'm with it. Let's do it. I'm so glad. This is my favorite category. <laughs> Playboy model Mercy Rooney appeared unofficially in what game? Was it A, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, B, WWF No Mercy, C, Super Monaco GP, or D, Grand Theft Auto 3? I, ha I have no idea. And I also think the um, unofficially is, is throwing me. Unofficially is throwing me as well. I, I think unofficially makes me think. Okay. So my immediate reaction was Tony Hawk, but then I thought because Tony Hawk is like a name, right? That he would have to like go through the proper channels. He might not have that, but then at the same time they just have like Spider Man in there. Um, so maybe I'm thinking either Tony Hawk or ah, I don't know. I'm against B. I'm against WWF, but I'm open to anything else. Wow, you really hate wrestling, eh? <laughs> Yeah, I, man. <laughs> I feel like, oh, God, I really don't know. All right, I, I'm, I I'm going to go. It's a. I, you do or you don't? I don't think it's A. Okay. So I'm feeling C, Super Monaco GP. It's the one game I've never heard of. So m maybe it has this character in it. Let's go for it. All right, awesome. All right. Is it C? It sure is. Super Monaco oh, GP. Yeah. Oh, Mikey. So this model is unofficially in the game because they used her likeness as one of the flag girls, I believe, at the very end of the level or something. So. Gotcha. All right. Hennessy and Syrup. Which category do you want? Oh, are we at the point like it fucking matters, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are gonna go with light fucking like matters. Like it fucking matters. <laughs> my my category. I don't like how you laugh at that. Uh, 
What did the original Japanese version of Castlevania have that the Western ver version did not? A. Bare breasted Medusa. B. Christian imagery. C. Staff credited, no pseudonyms. Or D. A safe feature. Medusa? Yeah, titties. Titty meat. Titty meat. Shows the team titty meat. So you're going with uh, bare breasted Medusa? Yeah. Yeah, we we're, we giving up. We're just going for titty meat. <laughs> yeah. Either that or Christian imagery, but I, I'm going with the titties. <laughs> All right. So is it a? No, it's D, a save feature. Why would you want to save late. games? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, fuck that shit. It's because it the original titties. came out on a disc instead of a cartridge. Nerd. All right, Grim Glow. That's great. Pick a category. Well, I'm a nerd, so I don't know anything about naked women. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Man, I don't know. These are tough. And I'm a nerd. They don't let me in casinos, so I don't think pick a card's going to be good. Hmm. What you thinking, Grim? I don't know, man. None of these are my forte. Well, if we don't know, we can always go random like it matters. Yeah, I'd say like it fucking matters. I think it's a try. Let's go. The, oh my god, Trisurkin 64 is a peripheral for the Nintendo 64 only released in Japan. What is it? Is it A, a heart rate monitor? B, a motion controller glove? C, a fishing rod? Or D, a train controller? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Fuck, man. We, we should have picked anything else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, last time I listened to you. So let's talk it out here. Do you know of any N64 games that have a train as an add-on? No. Okay. So, C, I know there's a fishing rod controller for the Dreamcast. I've never heard of one for the N64. I can't say I have. I can't even think of a fishing game for the 64. Okay, so then we got the motion controller glove. That I know there was a glove add-on for the N64 in the US. I don't know if it had motion controls though. And it was third party. And it says it was only released in Japan. And the glove I'm thinking of is in the US, so that's out. The heart rate monitor, I know came out for a few games. Like if I remember right, Res had a heart rate monitor, and that came out for PlayStation 2. I'm leaning towards heart rate monitor. I think I am, too. I'll watch. It's going to be a goddamn fishing rod, but yeah, sure. Let's go with A. Or that or a train controller, and I'll be like, okay, I'm going to have to Google now. <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, let's walk in A. Sticking with A. The correct answer is... See, a fishing oh. rod. <laughs> I fucking knew it. God damn it. What what fishing game is it for? Uh, I don't know. I do think there is a train controller for in, in Japan, but that's not what it's to grab that rod. Yeah. Can't wait to play Ultra Trailer Trout 64. <laughs> and the heart rate monitor, they do have those in for the Nintendo 64 in Japan, I believe. I believe that's right. I think we've had a question on a previous uh, Retro Olympics. It, it just wasn't called the, uh, the Suricon. Yeah. However you say that. I, whatever. All right. Alone Ultra, your next question. Which category would you like? All right. Uh, let's see. I'm probably going to go with for uh, Like It Fucking Matters. I'll go for that one. All right. You're going to close up the category so no one else can. Clear it out. <laughs> can uh, go for Fine. It. We don't want any more anyway. Oh, jeez. I was like, this is a long question. It is long. <laughs> the Japanese exclusive 1994 game Super Fire Pro Wrestling took a controversial turn and ended the story mode of the game with the main character committing suicide. 
the writer of the story ended up being one of the game's more well-known figures. Who was it? A. Suda51 B. Sinakami E. Yoko Taro or D. Hideki Kiyama. Kamiya, sorry. God damn it, Rob. Why couldn't we get this fucking <laughs> ah! I've never heard of this game before, but hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make, I'm going to take a guess by saying let's, let's see. Hmm. hmm. Shinji Mikami. Is that the character from Evangelion? No, he likes Tommy. I know he's a. You he's can't a, ask. Another guy who... You must answer questions. <laughs> nice. Or, or, I'm sorry. I need to say my knowledge. I know Hideki Tommy is the guy who blocks people on Twitter. Hmm. Two to fifty-one. That doesn't even sound like a person's name. I'm gonna go with a uh, C, Yoko Taro, since I've never heard of it, and it's not a goddamn Evangelion character. All right. The correct answer is a Suda fifty one. I do not know that answer, or you did not write that question, not. so I don't know. Uh, no, the name does sound familiar, though. You, you do not know how game. hard I was screaming while my mic was mute because the game is literally sitting above my head on my shelf right now. Ray. He's screaming like that one Breaking Bad game where Walter White's in the car. Uh, all right. Uh, check out our backlog. You get one of the three remaining categories. Okay, so no one's done pick a card, any card. And I think the last two times we've picked a category before anybody else has, we did well. The analytics say that you are correct. So let's okay. do it. Let's go for it. The Persona series ties tarot cards to characters. What tarot card is associated with the protagonist? Is it A, the world, B, death, C, justice, or D, the fool? John, do you know this? I do not. um... Okay, so I have never played the Persona games. The only thing I know about Persona is that the protagonist of Persona 5 is in Smash Bros. <laughs> and he, and he's called Joker, which makes me think he, Joker, a fool, may, may, maybe it's that. I got, I got nothing else to, to, to go off of. What? <laughs> <laughs> drinky, drinky. Drinky, drinky. Um, Joker. So if you're you're going with Joker, then no, 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 no. I'm no, I'm go, I'm going with the fool. The fool. I was okay. going to say jo- Joker is not listed as as a card option, so I think the closest thing to a Joker is the fool. Okay. Um. All right. Yeah. Uh. Let's let's run with it. I, I right, don't cool. have any anything else. All right. Yeah. Y'all are picking D the fool. Let's see if this is the correct answer. It is D the Fool. Hey, my dude. Carrying this team. (laughs) Uh, Hennessy and Syrup. Uh, What category do you guys want? Uh, (laughs) You go for it, buddy. What do you feel like? Uh, Fuck. They should have been paid to be naked or something. Okay. Kitty me. <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm looking for. Jackass Star Evo made his first video game appearance in what game? A. Jackass the Game. B. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. C. ESPN NFL 2K5. Or D. UFC Sudden Impact. Hmm. He's definitely in Jackass the Game. Yeah, but this is his but first. Was Tony Hawk Pro Skater Four before that? Yeah, because I would have. Or was he in NFL? I don't know why he would be there. <laughs> the only thing. That's a secret character, maybe. Yeah, the only thing that I can think of as far as like a secret character wise would be UFC Sudden Impact because they used to have a uh, Ice T in there. Shaquille O'Neal was a secret character, so I mean that. Not out of the realm of possibility for a retarded 
characters. Uh, what 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 system did that come out on? Do you know? Uh, the US. I know Jackass. The game was on PS2. I will say that these are all PS2 games. Ah, okay. So we we're trying to talk logic here, man. You just ruined it all. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Can I be that guy and say Jackass the game also came out for PSP? Well, yeah, but I'm saying these are all available on PS2. Is it too obvious to say Jackass the game, Rob? Or (laughs) it's not. (laughs) But look at where we are, though. (laughs) I would. Yeah, fuck it. We're Jackasses. Let's go for it. (laughs) Yeah, we losing anyway. (laughs) So y'all are picking a Jackass the game. Yeah. Yeah. It's either that or Tony Hawk. Well, it's neither of those because it is B, ESPN, NFL, 2K5. How do this game? They had a celebrity mode where the celebrities would call and leave voicemails and stuff, and he has a bunch of dialogue in it. Uh But they also had teams. He's not actually in it. His voice is in it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a loophole. I call shenanigans. Well, I watched a Steve-O video, and he said that that was his first video game appearance. So that's where I got the question from, goobs. Thank you. Collusion. Carmen Electra was in it too. <laughs> yes, she was. So bad. Uh, if you play Jackass the game, you get, you get to see Bam Margera's dad uh, shirtless doing some jiggling on the screen. So there is that. Yeah. So uh, moving on. Was he even naked in the football game? Football no, football? but they've been paid to be naked. What? This is bullshit. Steve O gets paid na- to be naked all the time. That was the logic of this category. Collusion. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Grim Glow. <laughs> It's your turn. Pick one of the three categories. Graham, I misled us last time. I led us astray. Yeah. All right. I'm going to say that shouldn't be there. Yes, fluff it. In the, fluff. <laughs> in the handheld version of Perfect Dark, Donkey Kong Country, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Grunty's Revenge, Conker's Pocket Tales, and Mickey's Racing Adventure, what reoccurring thing can you find in each game? Is it A, Cow... B, flowers, C, Diddy's red hat, or D, a hammer? Oh, God. What the fuck, man? What kind of question is this? Hmm. All right, so let's logic it out here. I think these are all rare games. I think so, too, now that you, yeah, definitely. Well, I I don't know about Mickey's racing adventure, but... Obviously, Perfect Dark, rare. Donkey Kong Country, rare. Banjo-Kazooie, rare. Conquer, rare. If they are all rare games, an item that they might put in would be Diddy Kong's Red Hat. That's what I'm going to guess, too. That's the best logic I have at this point, because flowers are more... I'm not sure what kind of flowers or what kind of cow and just a generic hammer, but... I I can imagine the hammer being a power-up, too, but like, if I were a developer and I was hiding an item in every handheld game I made, I would probably choose Diddy's hat because Diddy was a rare creation, whereas Donkey Kong was a Nintendo creation. I have to lean towards C. Yeah, well, we're not talking, you know, Sean P. Diddy Combs. That's that's a this a after levels podcast discussion. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess let's do Diddy's uh, red hat. Let's do P. Diddy's big red hat. <laughs> the correct answer is A, the rare oh, cow. Mill. What? The rare cow. You can find it like drawn on walls and stuff like that. Uh, it's a cow? It's just a little weird, like crude drawing of a cow. Just It looks like a fourth grader drew it or something. The mm. cute cow. Usually, usually it's it's not always like that, but most of the time. All right. Grim, do, you, do you remember when we could get questions right? <laughs> yeah. I remember. Yeah, those were a fun time. Uh, all right. Alone Ultra, this is your very last question of this game. What are you picking? All right. So what do we have left? Uh, we've got oh. pick a card, any card. Nice. They have been paid to be naked, and they, that shouldn't be there. This is your last question of the game. All right. Hmm. What should I pick? Hmm. I wouldn't go with that shouldn't be there. You're going to go with that shouldn't be there? Yeah, I'll go with that one. Okay. 
What game has a hidden wedge of cheese in every level that does absolutely nothing? A, Twisted Metal 3, B, Perfect Dark, C, X and Daxter, or D, Ratchet and Clank? I have never heard a cheese, a piece of wedge of cheese in any of these games, but I don't think I'm doubtful there would be cheese in Perfect Dark. But hmm, Twisted Metal, I'm not sure if there would be, like, Twisted Metal is a a drive like you drive in that game like you wouldn't really be out of your car in twisted metal but, hmm, i'm narrowing it down to either jack and dax or ratchet and clank hmm. i'm not sure which specific uh jack game it would be in i'm gonna go with uh ratchet and clank because that seems like something they would do in the series so your answer is ratchet and clank yeah i'm gonna go with that one so the answer is B, Perfect Dark. Wow. Opposite. Freaking rare. What I had in mind. Freaking rare. Doing some weird that does seem, shit. That does seem like a rare thing. Honestly, it really does seem like a thing rare would do. Yeah. You're going to put cheese and cows in all our games. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All right. Uh, check out our backlog. You get your last question. There's only two categories left. Pick any, pick a card, any card. They have been paid to be naked. I'm feeling good about pick a card, any card. We did well on that one last time. Uh, what are you thinking? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Now, okay, w- w- okay, yeah, okay, we can do this. We got it. We got it. Which card game was included as part of Square Enix's Play Online service? Was it A, Triple Triad? B, Tetra, Tetra Master, C, Euchre, or D, Solitaire? I did not even know Square Enix had an online service. Um, did you say you're today's years old? Shut up. It All would right. make sense yep. that it would be A or B because those are Square Enix. You know, those are from Final, yeah, Final, Fantasy. Final Fantasy games. I, I know both of those games, but... um. I have no idea what, what Euchre is, but... That's a game for people over the age of 80. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I was about to say, I was actually feeling it was solitaire. I feel like those Final Fantasy games are there to throw us off. But, okay, between Triple Triad and Tetra Master, I personally like playing Triple Triad better, so I'll, I'll lean towards that. Do you have a preference of the two? Was the better one? Um, shit. Yeah, they could just be there to throw us out. But fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. Triple Triad. Okay. Cool. We're gonna lock in A. A Triple Triad for your last answer. Is it correct? No. It is B Tetra Ooh. Master. Final uh, Fantasy Nine. Damn it. All right, uh, Hennessy and Syrup, which category would you like? Pick a card, any card, or they have so been... If we pick an answer before we see it. We get five <laughs> points, right? Uh, judges? Judges, can I get a ruling on this uh, question? Because I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be the one that says yes or no on this. Titties or cards? Oh. Rock, these are cards. There wasn't even naked people in the last one. It was someone that gets naked. And there's been no one naked in any of these. They they just get paid to get naked. Playboy model? Jackass star? Come on now. Follow. No. Uh, Rob's not answering me, so let's go with... uh, Naked. There you go, my boy. (laughs) Adult film star Shyla Fox appeared in which video game? A. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. B. WWF Attitude. C. Cruise in USA. Or D. Duke Nukem Land of the Babes. Graham, I would have gotten this one. What the hell? If only. It might be Cruise in USA. They have that girl in the bikini. Yeah, the one that come up at the race and be like, yeah, you can ready to go. Yeah, but also Duke Nukem, they have like a strip club, don't they? Yeah. I think that's there to throw us off. It could be B through D. 
<laughs> I don't think it's WF attitude. All right. So what should be that? So you want to go with C or D? See these nuts? <laughs> um, I'm I'm pushing towards C. I'm I think it might be you. that girl in the the bikini. Yeah. yeah, I'm cruising with you. All right, C. We're probably cruising. wrong. It's probably D, but we're gonna go with C. That's your final answer for the final question. Yeah. Yeah, we're going down with the Titanic. Cue the band. The, yeah. It is. <laughs> it is C cruising USA. Good job, guys. <laughs> Can't forget a pair of boobs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice. Or, the in, the N sixty four version put her in a head. shirt though. Yeah, the Nintendo sixty four did put her in a t shirt instead of the bikini. The arcade version does have her in the bikini. So yeah. Uh, okay, um, guys, uh, it is Grim Glow's it. last question. They get the last category of this summer twenty twenty four Retro Olympics. It's pick a card, any card. Your question is: How do you make the in mark spade? panel appear on Super Mario Brothers 3 map screen to play the card matching game. Is it score 80,000 points? Beat three levels without taking a hit? Keep the P meter filled for at least 50% of the length of the level? Finish a level with the last two digits of the timer at 77? I want to say it's either A or D. I'm going to go with A because I think D brings up the coin ship and not the end mark spade. Oh, man, I'm not so confident, but OK, fine. You know better than me. I'm fairly confident in A because D, if it's the last two digits and while it says 77, I think it worked as long as the two digits matched 11, 22, 33, 44. I could be wrong in that, though. But if I remember right, D brought up the ship that had all the coins on it. So I want to say it's A, you get 80,000 points and you get the uh, spade panel where you played the uh, card flip game, if I recall correctly. Well, I would say you have more experience probably with that system than I do, so I guess I'm going to have to defer to you. I'm leaning towards that, although I could be wrong. Uh, Beat three levels without taking a hit, though. I don't think that's it. And keeping the P meter filled for at least 50% of the level, I really don't think that's it. Because if you were to do that, that would mess up speed runs of the game. Because you'd have to wait for that to pop up, and then you'd have to walk over it in certain cases. I want to say A. Is that Joe's final answer? Yeah, I guess we're going with A. All right, this is going to cap off the end of this round. And the end of these games. Is it A? Let's see. It is a score 80,000 points. Good job, guys. All right. Well, for that round, uh, Alone Ultra had one point. Uh, Check out our backlog had two points. Hennessy and Syrup had one point, and Grim Glow had one point as well. I have the results of the winners. They were just brought in to me. Thank you. Um, It looks like a tied third place. Tied for third place. We've got uh, Hennessy and Syrup and Ultra Alone or Alone Ultra together and all tied in third place. Now, for second place, we've got... Check out our backlogs. So first place goes to Grim Glow. Woo. Yes! Yes! <laughs> so uh, Grim Glow, uh, please take the podium to get your gold medals and uh, give us a speech. Give us a speech. Congrats, boys. Well, oh, I yeah. personally can't wait to see the trophy for us winning that Toby's going to keep on its mailpiece instead of mailing it to us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting called out. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> special shout out to everyone that put this together. Uh, Keaton being the quiz master. We've heard him come on a couple times. Keaton, you are an awesome dude for putting this all together. And all the other people who wrote in questions for the show. Uh, Grim, what you got, man? 
Yeah, I just want to say this actually was a lot of fun. It's a little bit more fun than I thought it was going to be. Uh, and I definitely want to say, you know, thank you guys to uh, adding us to your roster for this year. It was definitely a uh, fun time and uh, kind of expounding some of my knowledge about some of these things. I, uh, I definitely would have gotten a lot of the questions wrong that other people also got wrong. So it's a good thing they took the L and not us. <laughs> so uh, in other words, uh, I'm sorry you guys are downtrodden and we stepped all over you. But, uh, you know, we win. Only one team can qualify for the Tournament of the Champions, and I came in ready for battle. And I definitely want to say, like, thanks to Keaton, you know, some of these questions were absolutely great. Totally kept me on my toes this whole damn time. And uh, anybody who brought these questions in, they were awesome. I'm going to be looking for those little cows now. uh, Zodiac helped and Martin helped. Yes, uh, Keaton, who who all should we thank for helping write questions? We got Berg, uh, Retro Rex, uh, like we I said, Martin, Berg, Chris. We got Rex, Mar- Martin in particular, for everything to do with that sound effects round. Um, Ashton nah, you, Martin. from the Retro Hangover. Ashton and Zodiac from the Retro Hangover podcast. Yes. Um, Berg from Berg This. Rex from just <laughs> being Rex. And um, Martin. And I wrote some questions too, guys. Oh yeah, and Toby, Toby, <laughs> man, Toby, yo, you do not get enough respect for all that you do for this thing. Like, I know that you do get your props, but people don't know all that you put into this. So, as the kids say, mad props to Toby. I'm not sure which props, but mad props. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Uh, there is. no, this is great, guys. We we love uh, having all these different uh, content creators come together and uh, make these super fun and super goofy uh, so we'll let uh, everyone promote their stuff one last time and we'll uh, get out of here and if there's any last remarks anyone wants to say on this long ass <laughs> retro olympics like they always are um, uh, Graham and Lefko, you guys uh, plug your stuff one more time I know y'all already talked y'all shit so y'all just plug y'all stuff <laughs> you go ahead first all right. Well, my show is Afterglow. I cover one game an episode where I talk mostly about my gaming memories, maybe a little bit of the background of the game, but I skew harder towards my memories and the music of the game. I like pushing music very hard because I'm a musician myself. And uh, there's a lot of people on here who have actually been guests on my show. So uh, if you listen to one of those episodes, go check out their stuff, too. And check out everyone's stuff that's been on here, because everyone on here tonight has just some awesome content. All right, then I guess that leaves me. Uh, and that is Grim from the Lost and Gone podcast. Uh, you know, and I would say, uh, you know, if you like the Secret Levels podcast, you might just see your thick boys on an episode or two of my show. Uh, Toby's Ooh. helped out a little bit with it. So did the Goobs Genie. And, uh, you know, it's all about unreleased media and the like. So, you know, cover video games, got a movie done so far. And I think you guys will like it. Come give it a listen when you got a chance, and uh, definitely give some love to our all thick fathers, <laughs> Toby Von Doom and Goobs. Coach Goobs to you. <laughs> Coach Goobs to me, I guess. <laughs> Win or lose, Coach Goobs. <laughs> uh, our second. Uh, I want to give a special shout out here to. Wait one second here, Toby. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. To the first lady levels for stepping in and being a great hostess as she is. Thanks, Hank. Yeah, uh, would you like to promote your show, Jenny B? Uh, yeah, you can check out the Nocturnal Mysteries podcast, a show about the paranormal, supernatural, and mysterious. Uh, episodes come out bi-weekly, and it's available wherever you find your podcasts. And thank you, Bean, for, for helping me read, because I hate trying to You're read. You're welcome. I love when you get the really hard ones or the Japanese words. <laughs> I know I, you every, do. <laughs> every time I see it, I'm just like, thank God, thank God. <laughs> so thank <laughs> no you so problem. much for always being there to help us. Uh, you know it. Get some tea. <laughs> All right. Our second place, uh, <laughs> uh, our second place, uh, check out our backlogs. Tell us about those backlogs one more time, guys. Mikey John. Um, so my, <laughs> my backlog, um, is from the podcast video game lounge. So, uh, you can check us out anywhere you find your other podcasts. Um, and I will give a shout out to Keaton really quick as he is, uh, every Sunday, keeping me on track on a game that I'm actually making. 
uh, through Unity. I'm making a Clash Royale clone, um, and it's gonna. It's called Battle of the Bands. So I'm making like a kind of rival music studio game in the um, program Unity, and trying to get it out by. Thanksgiving is my uh, due date, so um, cool. once that's out, I'll be able to drop it. Sweet. It'll be a, a web browser-based game, and you guys can check it out. So, Oh, yeah. We'll have to get you on a, uh, a secret-level side quest yeah, to talk about Yeah, that'd be cool it. to have you on the show and talk about uh, how that came along. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Hell, yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah, bro. Mikey? Hold on, shit. Hold I on. was on mute. I just wanted to say thank you again for having me on. It's always a pleasure. Um, I mentioned it at the start of the show, but I don't podcast anymore. Don't waste my, don't waste your time listening to my silly podcast. Uh, go to a museum. Museums have lots of like free entry dates and times. And I guarantee you, you will have a better time there than you will listening to my podcast. But if you're insisting on a podcast, listen to someone who was here. There's like eight, 10 people here who have podcasts. Again, I guarantee you will be a better time listening to one of those than the silly show I don't do anymore. Hey, but, don't 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 discredit your your hard work no, no. and time and every effort and stuff putting into the show. That's why it's still it's still valuable even if it's if it's no longer, you know, going. I've it's been checking on here and the uh, the analytics say that you do have a huge backlog that people can still listen to and get some really good entertainment out of. They, they can, but I'd also still like to take this opportunity to plug museums. I think that's a great <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Uh, Ultra Flames, you wanna you wanna plug your channel one more time? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, unlike unlike everyone else here, I do not have a podcast. Instead, I make I make uh, YouTube videos on my YouTube channel called Ultra Flames sixty four. Look out next week because uh, hopefully by next Saturday, I'll be releasing my new video, my next video, which is on Scott Pilgrim versus the World, the game. Oh hell yeah! And maybe, and maybe look up for uh, October's video if that comes out, which I'll be doing my another movie review on the movie Clerks. Oh nice! Yeah, of course I'm a YouTube channel that just uploads every couple months because it takes forever to make my videos. Huh. We uh, we understand that we've had some some yeah. slight delays in our uh, podcast coming out here lately for secret levels. Yeah, <laughs> but feel. Feel free to follow me on Instagram if you want any of the viewers. All right. I'm, most, I'm mostly active there, but yeah. What, that's, what, that's what's the, the handle on Instagram? Ultraflame64. Okay, well, it's the same. My profile picture, is, it's, it's the same profile picture and username. Cool. All right, Rob, you want to tell us one more time about your, uh, your wrestling shows? One more time. You can follow me wherever you to all your podcasts and wares and whatnot. I co-host two shows. Both go by the similar name, but one is about Japanese professional wrestling. The name of those shows are Didn't Get All of It and Didn't Get All of It Japan. <laughs> so check those out. Uh, didn't Get All of It Japan is bi-weekly. Didn't Get All of It is weekly. And then Goobs and myself, we do the Secret Levels hey, hey, podcast. One second here. Whoa. Speaking of didn't get all of it, we didn't get all of it tonight, Rob, but I love you. Thanks for helping me out, buddy. Yeah. Hopefully you got all of your alcohol into your system. <laughs> I only had a couple beers. Yeah. More than me. I want to. <laughs> but yes, the Secret Levels podcast. Myself and Toby, we do a podcast about awesome old video games. Sometimes not so awesome. And then we rage about it. <laughs> I say weird things and I would shove stuff up my ass and or urethra. Yes. Uh, yeah, we do a retro video game review show where we go over one game per episode. We go over the history of the story, the gameplay, some fun facts, and then we rate it at the end. Uh, so come check us out if this is on some other feed. Uh, we do these Retro Olympics twice a year, so expect one in the winter. And uh, we're soon going to have episode 200, and we are going to be comparing both of the Aladdin games for Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. So if you want to see which one we thought was better, you're going to have to come listen to those two episodes. But, uh, Goobs, is there anything else we can add to this? Like, this was a lot of fun, like always. 
Yeah, it was a great time. I hope everyone had a good time. Not a long time. We're not here for a long time. We're here for a great time. And uh, I want to say game over, folks. Well, then go ahead and say it, buddy. Close the game ceremony. over, folks.